Well, hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, but I had some other things to do, so here I am with a new tutorial. And uh, this is a um, tutorial on a sweater that was used from Emily in Paris, which is a new serial, became very popular, and it has, um, Emily has a really huge wardrobe of all this uh, beautiful sweaters, coats. So I saw this um, Argyle sweater that she had. I will pop it up here and uh, It's all in pink and she matched it with a pink coat and the pink skirt and it was really pretty So I thought I am going to try to replicate and do one of those Just that that was a little bit like a bigger sweater But mine uh, turned out to be quite a fitted sweater, which I'm fine with it. It's nice like this as well but if you want to do a bigger size or like a slouchy one you have to uh, add more uh, squares on the sides so i really hope you like this tutorial of course i do want to invite you to uh, subscribe if you are new and of course if you like the content of my channel and if you are already in my channel from some time, please give this video a thumbs up and watch the video until the end so you can help me grow my channel. Also, I will link all the materials and the hook and um, everything that I used, I will link in the description box. It's made of a 100% acrylic. Don't forget to check my uh, Instagram and my uh, Facebook page. And without further ado, let's just get into this tutorial. So for this project I am going to use acrylic. I will drop the links in the description box in two colors, in this pink and also in black. And I will uh, do for the uh, inside part, I will do squares so I can do the front and the back side. And then I will show you how I'm going to do the arms. But these squares that I need will be so the size of uh, nearly about 13 cm with uh, 12 and a half, 13 on this side as well. So it's like 12 or 13, this is the square. So I will need three uh, types of square. I will need the pink one, I will need the mixed with the pink and black and I will need the black ones. For the pink ones, I will need in total for the front and the back side, I will need uh, four pieces with a pink one for the front and for the back. Later on, I will show you how I'm doing the arrangement as well. Then I will need the black one. I will need six pieces with black and then I will need the mixed one, which are uh, pink and black. So I will need 12 pieces with a mixed one. Also, later on, I will show you how to do these uh, triangles that I will need at the ends here. And on this side, I will need triangles and also over here. So I will show you also the triangles and how to do them. Triangles, of course, uh, as well, I need them in three colors, in pink, mixed color, and also in black color for up here. In total, uh, the triangles, the pink color in triangles for the front and the back side are one, two, three, four pieces of uh, triangles in pink in black two pieces in black for the sides and one for the color over here so three pieces of triangles in black and then for the mixed color i will need four pieces of triangles for the ends at the bottom over here okay so now i told you i already told you the quantity for each color for the rectangle for the squares and for the uh, triangles so i will start with the um, crocheting of the squares and then i will show you how to crochet the triangles so i'm going to show you how i do for the mixed color the triangle and the uh, square and then you just uh, do more in black and in pink as well okay so let's start with a square so for the size that i need i will uh, start with 15 uh, chain stitches so 15 chain stitches, so I will use two strains, one in pink and one in black. If you want to do the black color, you just use both in black. And if you want to do the pink color, just use both in pink. Okay, so let's do 15 chain stitches. One, two, three, four, 15. 
Okay, now we are going to work on the way back uh, with a uh, double crochet. So I will yarn under, I will skip, skip three chains, one, two, three. I will insert the hook at stitch chain number three and I will yarn all under and then I will close the stitches, the loops two by two. So here I have the second double crochet because these three chain stitches that I skipped over here, they are also considered as a double crochet for me. So I will just work with a double crochet until the end. In total, together with the three chain stitches here, you will have 13 uh, double crochet stitches. So one, two, and then continue yarn under, insert the hook in the next chain stitch, and then yarn under, pull up, and then you have three loops. Yarn under, pull up through two loops, yarn under, pull up through the last two loops, and then you have the uh, next uh, double crochet. As like this, continue until the end. Okay, so here we are, 13 double crochet stitches and then three chains, one, two and three, turn your work like this and then continue, uh, skip three chain stitches that you did here, skip this first uh, uh, stitch that you have here as well and then insert the hook in the next one, in the second stitch, both loops and then you're under, pull up and then work it as a double crochet and then continue working until the end double crochet stitches in total together with the three chain stitches here again you will have 13 double crochet stitches the last stitch don't forget you will work right here where you have the three chain stitches insert the hook somewhere here grab a loop and then do the last stitch double crochet stitch because you are skipping one here and that's why you have to do one right on top here of the three chain stitches and then you just continue this process forth and back forth and back so just keep doing three chain stitches one two and three turn your work and then work skip three chains skip the first stitch over here insert the hook in the second stitch and do double crochet stitch work double crochet stitches until the end and just repeat this action over and over again for in my case for the size that i needed my triangles to be 13 cm with 12 and a half cm nearly 13 with 13 i had to crochet six rows okay so i did already two and then i had to crochet four more so you just crochet for uh, six uh, rows with uh, double crochet stitches. Then you will have the size that I uh, used for my squares. Okay, so this is how you do the squares. Uh, but of course you, has, you have to adapt to your own size. So you just have to check your size. So once I have finished all the square pieces in three different colors, um, I, will, I will start to crochet the triangles. So now I am going to show you uh, the counting for the triangles for the triangles i will start with the base of uh, 20 i will start with the base of 21 double crochet stitches so i will need 21 plus 2 i will need 23 chain stitches so let's start and do 21 chain stitches first 23 chain stitches one two three four 23 okay so yarn under and then skip three chain stitches insert the hook at the fourth chain stitch and do a double crochet and then here we have two double crochets and then yarn under insert the hook in the next chain stitch and do a double crochet so i will keep, keep crocheting double crochet stitches until i arrive at the 19th i will do 19 double crochet stitches and then the 20th and 21st i will show you i will do like um decrease okay so once i have 19 double crochet stitches um this is something that i just did and then it gave me the 
uh, triangle shape so you can do your own triangle but this is how i did it yarn under so at the 20th i will just yarn under insert the hook in the next stitch and pull up a loop and then i will close the two loops but i will leave this too then i will insert the hook again in the next chain stitch yarn under and pull up like this and then i will close two by two the stitches so this is how i will close the 20th and the 21st one okay and then i will just do three chain stitches one two and three turn your work like this and then yarn under and then insert the hook skip the three chain stitches skip the first stitch here insert the hook in the second one and yarn under pull up close two loops but keep the last two and then i will insert the hook in the next yarn under pull up and then close these two loops again but i will keep these two again and then i will insert the hook in the third uh, stitch yarn under pull up and then now the, the third one i will close two by two and like this i have like uh, the side of a triangle so i will close three stitches here okay and then for the rest until three if as you see here i have one two three uh, for the rest until i arrive at the fourth one at the fourth before the end stitch i will work double crochets so just work double crochet but leaving the last three holes because there we will do another decrease so just work double crochets now And then here I will stop because now I will do to the increase the decreases. So one, two, three. In here I will start to do the decrease. So yarn under, insert the hook in the next stitch, pull up the loop, close these two loops, and keep these two loops, and then insert in the next stitch, pull up a loop, and close two loops. And then again insert in the next one, the next stitch pull up a loop and close the last two loops and close these two as well like this we will have another um, decrease of these three stitches over here so yarn then we do three chains one two three turn your work like this yarn under and then again skip the three these three chains and we will just repeat the same action that we did on the other side you skip this hole over here this stitch and insert the hook in the next one and pull up a loop and now we have three loops and then yarn under and pull through and close two loops and keep this two insert the hook in the second stitch yarn under pull up yarn under pull through two loops and let's do one more decrease so insert the hook in the next stitch in the third stitch pull up a loop yarn under pull through these two loops and then pull close also these last two loops and then here we did another dec in decrease of three uh, stitches so now i will keep crocheting double crochet stitches until i arrive here and then one two three this three i will do another decrease so let's crochet double crochets now so one then now i have three stitches left here so one two three and i will do again a decrease yarn under insert the hook in the next stitch pull up a loop then close two loops then insert the hook in the next stitch yarn under pull up a loop and close two loops and then insert the hook in the last stitch and pull up a loop and now we close the loops two by two the first two loops the second two loops okay so you can see that now it's taking shape don't worry about these uh, edges they are not perfect but once they are sewn in uh, they will be mm, nice uh, also now we are going to start again three chain stitches one two three turn your work like this and repeat the same action yarn under insert the hook skip three chains skip the hole here Insert the hook in the second stitch and close two loops and then 
again insert keep these two loops and then insert the hook in the next stitch pull up close two loops and the third stitch insert the hook pull up a loop close two loops and close the last two loops okay so we are going to work double crochet now one two three uh, until here because the last three stitches here we will do a decrease so let's do one double crochet and two double crochet and then here we start to decrease so yarn under insert the hook in the next chain stitch pull up a loop and close two loops insert the hook in the next stitch pull up a loop yarn under and work these two loops insert the hook in the last stitch pull up a loop close two loops and we close also the last two loops the last remaining two loops so it will look like this so we have one two three four four rows and we will do the last one so i will do three chain stitches one two three turn your work like this and here we are just going to do decreases okay so yarn under insert skip three chains skip the first hole over here the first stitch insert the hook in the next stitch yarn under pull up and work these two loops and keep the last two and keep doing the same insert the hook in the next stitch pull up a loop work these two stitches two loops insert the hook in the next stitch yarn under pull up work these two loops you always keep this loop here until the end and then we are going to actually grab this uh, ro this row also one side from here just to make it more uniform so pull up a loop work these two loops and work the last two loops here we are okay so we did the top and then do one chain pull up and cut so these are your triangle pieces so you will do um, in three uh, mixed colors a uh, pink color and uh, black color so now let me show you the quantity that I did for uh, each shape each color so here we are I have already finished all the uh, squares in three colors and all the triangles in three colors as you can see so once I finished them I started to arrange this is the front part this is how I arranged the front part you can see from here that I have um, a few pieces going out the two black ones the two squares the black ones and the two pink ones but actually they will look like this as I'm putting my hand on top of them because the other half it will be sewn on the back side the same thing happens with the top as well this uh, two triangles on the top only half of them will be in the front the other half will be tucked in the back and will be sewn with the back part uh, because I did not want to do too many um, small pieces and then once I finish the front part this is the arrangement for the front part and now I will show you the arrangement for the back part so as you can see in the back part I have less pieces because a few of them will come from the front part you can see on top here I will sew the two uh, small triangles uh, from the front and then um, I will sew the two uh, black ones on the side and two pink ones on the side as well uh, so the back part it has a small less pieces but it will uh, I will sew some pieces from the front side and I will show you um, and you will be more clear on that uh, once I sew all of them okay guys so here we are this is how it will look like the front part this is the back part now as I told you this part over here it will end up sewed over here and this one here will end up sewed over here okay but this and this we have the arm so i did not want to do a uh, square over here probably you will have your ideas more clear once i will show you how to put this on top of this one also here is the shoulder and it will end up here because here is the neck part the v-neck here and this half of the triangle will end up on this side over here so let me show you I will put the finger my hand like this so this is how 
where is the head okay this will end up like this so this part over here will be sewn up here and this part over here will be sewn up up here okay so let me show you what i mean okay so here we have the back part on top of the front part okay so the the uh, this is the right side and this is the right side so I'm going to sew here I'm going to sew here I don't have to sew here and I'm going to sew here this part here okay then I'm doing the same this part I will sew over here this part here I will sew over here you see and this part here I will sew over here so let me just sew those and then I will show you how it all looks like and then we can move on to the arms okay guys so here it is I already sewed in the other side this part this part and the upper part also on the other side so it looks like this here we have the neck this is the back and here we have the neck part okay so we have the opening of the arms over here but I might do it a little bit smaller we will see first we will crochet first the arms and then uh, um, once they are finished uh, while I will sew them I will also close this part if it's too big okay so let's continue with the arms so let's start with the arms for the arms I am going to use the combination of black and pink so I will use this by two um, and then I will show you how I'm going to do some patchwork and do the uh, and on the diamonds on the both sides of the arm so I'm going to use these two colors for the main arm but we are going to start with the ribbing first for this part over here I will use the same technique that I used for another um, simple uh, top um, cropped uh, cropped sweater that I did I will link it up here so if you are interested you can check that tutorial as well okay so I will start first with um, chain stitch so I will crochet 10 chain stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then I will do um, skip three chains one two three I will insert in chain number three I'm sorry that is a black color maybe you can't see it properly but yeah this is what I have so I will do that and then I will just yarn under pull up and I will work a double crochet so I have one two together with the three chain stitches here these are two double crochets and I will work another six double crochets in total there are going to be eight double crochets until the end so just on the next stitch insert the hook and crochet a double crochet okay so once we have four of them I will do three chains one two three turn your work like this and then do skip the three chains skip the next the first stitch and insert the hook in the second stitch but to do the ribbing in fact we need the back loop only so we are going to insert the hook in the back loop of the stitch and crochet a double crochet and then keep crocheting double crochet stitches on the back loop only until you have eight double crochets including the three chain stitches okay and then we just keep repeating the same three chain stitches one two three turn your work yarn under three chain stitches skip skip the first stitch insert the hook in the second stitch but back loop only and work double crochet stitches until the end so you will work this eight double crochet stitches back and forth back and forth until you have the desired width for your arm over here 
Okay, so in my case, I will crochet 11 rows with the um, uh, double crochet ribbing, okay? So I did one, two, three, I will crochet another eight rows. So once the 11 rows are done with the ribbing, I will just put it this way and I will connect these two sides with a single crochet stitch. So insert the hook in the next one and do a single crochet. Then I will keep connecting one stitch from this side, one stitch from the other side and single crochet until I connect them until the end. So just keep uh, working a single crochet, inserting the hook in both sides, in here and in the other one. So once you have crocheted the last stitch, it will look like this. And then just pull on the other side like this. And now I'm going to connect here uh, the other color, which is the pink color. Because from now on, I will work with two colors. I will just make a knot. And from now on, we will work with a double crochet. And I will work with two um, yarns in the same time. So I will do three chain stitches. One, two, and three. And then I will yarn under right here where we have the hole. We will do one single cro one double crochet. And then yarn under, do a double crochet right here where we have the connection between two um, rows of double crochets here. So here we do another double crochet. Then the next double crochet right here on the hole. And then the next double crochet right here in between the two rows. Insert the hook and keep doing that. One double crochet in the hole and one double crochet in the connection between the two holes. Keep doing that until you arrive at the end. Now the next thing that I'm going to do, I will put a marker on every uh, double crochet that I did in the hole. So every double crochet that I did in the hole, I will put a marker because like this I will um, explain to you that I need to do increase on each of them. So it's more easy for me to be to explain uh, how I do the increase. So wherever you, uh, I have... Um, a double crochet in the hole I will put a marker because on each of these I will do an increase okay so here we are I have all of my markers and then on the last one I will insert the hook in chain number three up here where I have the three chains I'll insert the hook at chain number three and do a slip stitch so like this I have a connection with um, the end with the beginning so the next round i will do three chains one two and three and then at the next stitch where i have the marker i will do two double crochet in the same stitch because i will do one increase let me take out the marker here So I will do in the same stitch one more double crochet, which is an increase. And then I will put the marker at the first stitch, uh, the first double crochet that I did here, because I still need to know where the, the increases are for later on. So for the next stitch, I don't have a marker, so I don't have an increase. So for the next stitch, I will just do one double crochet. Again, for the next marker, I will do one increase, so two double crochet in this stitch, put back the marker at the first stitch of the increase. And then the next stitch is just a, if you can see, it's a double crochet, so I will do a double crochet, no increases. 
I will keep doing that, this pattern all around. Where I have a marker, I will do an increase, so two double crochets, and where I don't have a marker, I will do just one double crochet. I will do that all around until I arrive here. So I will do the last increase here, and then I will do the connection. Okay, so here we are. I did the last increase, as you can see here, and now I am going to do the connection by inserting the hook at chain number three. So one, two, three, insert the hook at chain number three and do a slip stitch. Like this, I have uh, connected and I finished the second round. Now, I will continue doing a double crochet, no increases, for the next 10 rounds. So for the next 10 rounds, I will do just one double crochet uh, for each stitch. So I'm not going to do any more increases or decreases, but I will keep the markers because um, together with these two rows there are at the end over here where I will stop, uh, there will be 12 rounds. So for this round, for the second round, I did an increase and then I will continue 10 more rounds without increases. So at the end, of these 10 rounds in total there will be 12 rounds to including these two and and the 13th round I will do one more increase and I will show you how am I going to do that increase that's why I need these markers okay so let's just crochet for the next 10 rounds one double crochet on each stitch so three chains and for the next stitch one double crochet Again, for the next stitch, one double crochet, and the next stitch, one double crochet, and keep uh, doing one double crochet for each stitch for another 10 rounds, including these two 12 rounds. Okay, guys, so here we are. I finished another 10 rounds without increases. So, what I'm gonna do next is I will do one increase but not on each marker. I will do one increase on every other marker, which means I will do one increase here, then no increases here, and I will do one increase here, and then no increases here, uh, because I don't want to have like a puff over here. I just want it gradually to come a little bit bigger. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I will do one increase here with double crochet, and I will just do one single one double crochet here no increases and i will do double crochet um, increase here so i i guess i hope you understand my point okay so as i told you i will do th three chain stitches and then at the the first marker i will take out and i will do one increase and actually i'm not gonna put the markers back anymore because i don't need them anymore the next uh, two stitches I will just do one double crochet on each and the next marker I will take out and I won't do any increase so I will just do one double crochet I will continue one double crochet on the next two stitches And then here where I have the marker, I will do one increase because I skipped one marker, no increase. And then the next one, I do an increase with double crochet, one and two. So for this marker, I will just do one double crochet, no increase. And for the next one, I will do a increase. So just keep working like this. Um, so the one marker one uh, do an increase a double crochet increase for the next marker no increase all around okay so here we are you can see that there is a little bit of a pop here so we have more stitches now now I will continue to do um, no increases anymore. Um, so this was my 13th uh, round where I did increases for every other marker. Okay, I will continue uh, with no increases 
another 10 rounds. So uh, 13 plus 10 in total, there are going to be 23 rounds, okay? So let's just uh, continue doing 10 more rounds with um, double crochet stitch and no increases. Okay, guys, here we are. This is how the arm it is going to look like. Let me just show you up here. So once you do that once, repeat the same actions and do the second arm. As you can see, I have uh, put the connection here, but I want to put it right in the middle. Okay, so this is going to be in the middle because this actually is going to be in the back side of the arm. Okay, and this part here, it's going to be on the top side of the arm up here because right here i want to put some patches all uh, also crocheted uh, three patches here which i will show you later uh, in black and pink okay i want to have those uh, squares right here as well so uh, once you do that you repeat the action and do another arm and then and then we're going to sew it to the body that we crocheted earlier Okay guys, so this is what I'm saying. Here is the neck and I will now sew this part here. As I told you previously, probably this is too big. So I will sew a little bit more this on the side and then I will sew the arm from the inside, of course. And I will do the same on the other side. Hey okay, guys, so here we are. As you can see, I already sorry oops i already uh, sewed in the arms and this is how it looks like so as i told you uh, these parts i already uh, crocheted it the same as i did the arms on this part over here i just uh, crocheted it enough to go around and i will sew them so it's the same process that i did for uh, this part over here for the cuffs here okay just uh, with the same technique the double crochet ribbing and uh, also with eight uh, double crochet stitches so I started with 10 chain stitches and then I crocheted uh, uh, eight double crochet stitches uh, the width okay so it's the same here and the same also in the color over here I did the same now as I told you I am going to put some uh, squares here as well. So I use the same size that I used uh, for here, uh, 12 by 13 more or, or less, that was the size, but I did not use two strains, I just used one strain, okay? So I started with, um, here I have 13 double crochet stitches, but actually, I made 18 here because it's just one strain. So to achieve the same size, you need more stitches. Okay, so uh, my way of arrangement is like this. So I will arrange it this way. So this is the top, okay? This is the top of the arm and this is at the back. So it will be one black, one pink, I will show you better later, but that's the idea. And then one black again up here. So I will position them better later on. So this is the sequence that I'm uh, doing the same on the other side. So I did, I crocheted four black and two pinks. Okay. And I did that on this side. So I'm going to sew this one in and the, also the color here and also the bottom over here and I will show you how it all came together. Okay, so here it is you guys. I really like how it all turned out. It's perfect. It's very tight like it will be not a slouchy kind of um, sweater but this is a properly XS size so if you want to have a bigger size just make one more row here with these triangles on both sides as well so you can have like if you want to have the s or m or bigger than that okay so i really hope you like this tutorial don't forget to give me a thumbs up subscribe if you are new and i hope you really like 
the content of my channel if you are new around here. So I will see you on my next one. Cheers!